there are four main things you can do in your growth process. And the first one to secure open heaven is called prayer. When you are acting in faith, prayer is a necessary ingredient of faith. Why? Because by now you know that when the word has come, the bears are coming. The wicked one is coming. So prayer can even fight away the wicked one. But what prayer does is that prayer can open the heavens over the seed you have sown. James chapter 5 verse 17. Elijah was a man subject to like passion as we are. And he prayed earnestly that it might not rain. And it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. And he prayed again. And the heaven gave rain. And the earth brought forth her fruit. It means that heaven can be opened by your prayers. In the same way, heavens can be shut by your prayers. The number two key is what I call giving. Malachi 3 verse 8. Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. But you say, wherein have you robbed thee? In tithes and in offering. Ye are cursed with a curse, for you have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring ye all your tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house, and prove me now here. Say the Lord of hosts, if I will not open unto you the windows of heaven, and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive. So what can happen is that, if a man is acting faith, I'm anointed. I'm the next mortal billionaire in, in the world. I'm acting. He's signing deals and all that. It is the blessing of the Lord that make it rich. And that blessing comes from heaven. And one of the ways to open that door is by your giving. Number three, you need patience in your growth. James 5 verse 7 NIV. He said, be patient then, brothers and sisters, until the Lord's coming. See how the farmer waits for the land to yield his valuable crop patiently waiting for the autumn and spring rains the farmer plants and it's not say that the rain has not come let's take the seeds out most people plant today and if it has not come they go and take the seeds i'm sure this this is not working let me go here and all their life because they cannot wait the fruit is not coming james 1 verse 2 my brethren count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptation knowing this that the trying of your faith worked patience next but let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. What patience will do for you, you come to a place where you will not need anything again. Time. The reason why you have to wait is because in the waiting process, it looks like nothing is happening. But if we can have a microscope or a camera underground, when we planted the corn seed, we will discover that germination was happening. A lot was going on. But times, because you can't see what is happening, we conclude nothing is happening. Can I tell you something? If you acted in faith, something is happening. I said something is happening. Just don't give up. Number four, righteous living. Faith simply means conviction. And in your conviction, your conscience affects your conviction. First Timothy 1 verse 19. Holding faith and a good conscience, which some having put away concerning faith, had made shipwreck. So at times, some people, their miracles should have happened 10 years ago. But conscience which shipwrecked their faith has delayed their destiny. So at times, it's not the devil. It's righteous living. It's important. Finally, what do you need for harvest? Mark 4 verse 28. For the earth bringeth forth fruit of herself. First the blade, then the ear. After that, the full corn in the ear. Next. But when the fruit is brought forth, immediately he put it in the circle. Because the harvest has come. So anytime you are at harvest time, you need what is called circle. Say circle. It is a law that what you need for your harvest is twofold. Thanksgiving and joy. Most people too, they have applied all the law. They pray. They have done all things. But do you know why there is no resource? Actually, the fruit is there. But they are whining and complaining is killing the fruit. So in this faith process, what you have to do is always be thanking God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. No matter what, come what may. You are going through fire, persecution, trial. But in the midst of all that, be grateful. Christ Palace International Ministries.